Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in this video, I wanna look at my top five best legal streaming apps. Now there's a number of features that you may wanna consider when choosing a streaming app. And these are the features I've considered when looking at the top streaming apps. For instance, content variety. Does the app offer a wide range of movies, TV shows, and other types of content? Is the video quality good on the app? Some video streaming services support high-end audio and video standards, including Apple TV+, Disney+, HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, and Prime Video. These all support 4K streaming. Now you also want to consider compatibility. Is the app compatible with your device and the streaming device you use, such as a smart TV, gaming console, or a set-top box? And once you get the app, is it easy to navigate and use? Now a major factor in choosing a service is the cost. How much does the service cost? And are there any additional fees for certain content or features? Also, does the app offer subtitles or audio options in multiple languages? Now a major one for me is offline viewing. Does the app allow you to download content for offline viewing? And if you've got kids, does the app offer any features to help parents control what their children can watch? And following on from that, does the app allow you to create multiple user profiles so that different family members can have their own personalised recommendations and viewing history? Okay guys, with all that out of the way, let's get into the top 5 streaming apps and services. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now, Hulu is a subscription-based streaming service that offers a wide variety of TV shows and movies, including many current and past seasons of popular shows. Now, like Netflix and Amazon, Hulu also creates its own original content, including shows like The Handmaid's Tale, Marvel Runaways, Little Fires Everywhere, High Fidelity, and so on. They've also got a decent selection of movies, including Black Swan, Parasite, Sonic the Hedgehog, Rocket Man, Space Jam, and Taken, to name a few. They've also got some great documentaries about outdoors, life, and fashion. And if you're into anime content, they've got hundreds of titles to choose from. Now, they've got a great lineup of live TV with something to please everyone, with categories like news, entertainment, and sports. Now, Hulu's sports lineup includes BTN, CBS Sports, ESPN, ESPN2, ESP News, Golf Channel, an Olympic channel. Now on top of that you also get your local channels in your zip code like NBC Cable, Fox, CBS and ABC. Now if you are curious about what's available in your area you can go onto their website and put in your zip code and click on the submit button and you'll get a listing of all the channels available. As you can see I've got my listing of live local channels, entertainment and lifestyle channels, family and kids, movies, news channels and sports. It also shows you some add-on premium channels, including sports and entertainment channels. Okay, so straight in, let's look at the pros. Now, first of all, it's got an excellent selection of TV series, an extensive live TV channel lineup, and a robust cloud DVR option, and it's available on nearly every media streaming device you can think of. Now, Consways, like many others, the base on-demand service includes ads, and you can only get offline downloads if you've got a premium account, and they're missing most Sportsnet and all Bally Sports. There's also fewer higher quality originals than competitors. Now cost-wise, Hulu offers you a free 30-day trial. Then you can make your mind up if you want to choose an ad or an ad-free plan. An ad-free plan is basically double the price. Plus you get the ability to download and watch content. And of course you also get some add-on options, including HBO Max, Cinema Max, Showtime and Stars. Now next up is Disney Plus, and Disney Plus is a subscription-based streaming service that offers a wide variety of TV shows and movies from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic brands. Now Disney Plus features around 7,500 TV episodes and over 500 movies. And of course it recently bought out 21st Century Fox, so there's a multitude of content to choose from. And of course Disney Plus also has their own originals, including Marvel's Hero Project, The Falcon, and The Winter Soldier, The Mandalorian, The World According to Jeff Goldblum, and they recently announced that they would be launching over 100 new titles per year. Movies wise you're getting quite a few, including Avatar, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, Miracle on 34th Street, Pirates of the Caribbean, and of course quite a big selection of Disney movies. Mohana, Frozen, Lilo and Stitch to name a few. And of course not forgetting the Star Wars franchise. And with a Disney Plus account you get up to 7 customizable user profiles for simultaneous streams. Now there's a few plans you can choose from starting at the basic which comes in at $7.99 a month. Now if you up that to $10.99 you get the premium package which gives you ad free streaming and downloads to watch on the go. Now if you want to pay a bit more you get some more options. You're getting the Disney bundle which includes Hulu and Disney Plus together which gives you thousands of more shows and movies. Now again if you up that to $12.99 you can get the Trio Basic which includes Hulu, Disney Plus and ESPN Plus which gives you those live sports and originals on ESPN Plus. 
Now again, if you up that to $19.99 a month, you're getting the Trio Premium, which is basically the same as Trio Basic, but you get the ability to download content and watch offline. Okay, to summarize guys, the pros, we're getting lots of Disney-owned content all in one place, we're getting offline downloads at a premium tier, we also get 4K streaming, and it's a good overall performance. And the only cons I can think of is that the Premier Access can be a bit expensive. Okay guys, love it or hate it, it's Netflix, and Netflix is a subscription-based streaming service that offers a wide variety of TV shows, movies and documentaries, including many original programs. Now, Netflix is one of my favourites, and it's got a massive broad catalogue of video content, which is constantly changing, which in my mind is a good thing as it keeps the content fresh. And of course, Netflix produces tons of originals, including Black Mirror, Bojack Horseman, Dead to Me, Lock and Key, Never Have I Ever, Orange is the New Black, and of course, Stranger Things. Plus, they also produce feature films, comedy specials, and documentaries. Now, playback and streaming with Netflix is probably one of the best experiences out there. You get the standard 10 second rewind and fast forward buttons. You can also browse a list of all the episodes of a show by season, adjust the audio and subtitle language, change playback speeds and jump to the next episode. And the progress bar shows content previews as you scroll. And Netflix also supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos standards for selected titles. Now pricing is pretty straightforward with Netflix, you get three tiers. You get the basic with adverts which comes in at $6.99 and the video quality is good and the resolution is 720p and the cool thing is there's no restriction on content, you get the same amount of content as compared to the premium or standard. Now I personally have the basic version and I've got no complaints, 720p is fine by me and I barely notice the adverts. Now the next plan is the standard which comes in at $15.49 and what you're getting is better video quality and the resolution is bumped up to 1080p and you're able to download content to watch offline. And the top dog plan is the premium plan which comes in at $19.99 and you're getting the best video quality at 4K HDR with of course the ability to download content to watch later. Now to summarize the pros, we're getting high quality original programming, we get excellent apps and features, we're getting offline downloads on mobile, cons wise we're getting that basic ad based tier, which like I mentioned, I personally don't mind it. And the last con is we don't get much information about changes to the availability of the content. So programs may be there one day and gone the next, with little or no warning. Next up is HBO Max, and HBO Max is a subscription-based streaming service that offers a wide variety of TV shows, movies and documentaries, including many original programs and content from the HBO network. Now the HBO Max's content library is similar in size to that of Disney Plus's, so it's pretty large, and we get current and classic HBO shows, and we also get select shows and movies from other brands including CNN, DC, Looney Tunes, New Line, Cinema, and Warner Bros. They've also got a great library of on-demand movies, which is always changing. Movies like Blade Runner 2049, Ford V's Ferrari, The Joker, Fast and Furious, The Dark Knight, and more. Now the HBO Max app is available on most devices as you can see. Now cost wise there's a few plans to choose from, there's basically a with ads and an ad free plan. And with ads starts at $9.99 per month or $99.99 per year. Now the ad free plan starts at $14.99 a month or $149.99 per year. And as you can see the yearly plans are saving you up to 16%. So to summarize pros wise we've got a huge catalog of popular shows and movies from many sources. There's an ad free tier which lets subscribers download content for offline viewing. User profiles and predator control tools are pretty good. And now to the cons, there's a limited number of 4K titles. It's relatively expensive compared to the other options. And the ad supported tier doesn't support offline downloads. So overall guys, ultimately the best streaming service for you will depend on your interests and what you are looking for in a streaming service. It might be helpful to compare the content offerings and pricings of different services to find the one that best meets your needs. Anyway guys, if you found this video useful, please do give us a like and consider subscribing. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.